Hey Pirates, welcome to Unit 3 of our new Base Clinic Series Pulse Refactor. This one I'm going to talk about ballistic turrets. Before you get started on this one, uh, make sure you watch Unit 1 just to understand all the basics, all the tactical modules, placement, aura caps, certification and everything. I'm trying to keep each unit short, about 10, 12, 13 minutes. So just keep to the one you want, to whatever you want to know. And keep in mind, all the information I'm using is as good as I could get at the time I record the video. Kixai changes the game very often, so it might be outdated in a week, in two weeks, in two months. Okay, so remember to keep that in uh, consideration when watching these videos. And the whole idea here is to share knowledge, okay? I'm not just simply dumping a layout or dumping ship codes on you. It's to share knowledge so you can make informed decisions. These are the three tier seven ballistic turrets. Uh, the Blunderbuss 2 has a short range of 95, 280,000 damage with five multi-shot. And it's a splash spread turret. The Howitzer Cannon 6 has a range of 191, 58,000 damage, two salvos and fast reload. This turret changed a lot after the refactor. It used to be one of the best turrets in the game and Overall, it got nerfed. It's weaker now because you gotta divide the salvo by two, uh, the damage by two salvos, and the reload's a little bit slower, and so on. Then there's the Javelin, it's the long range turret. It has a blind spot of up to 100, and then it fires between 100 and 287 range. Two salvos as well, accuracy base as well. This one has a secondary damage type. Uh, it also deals some penetrative damage. So these are the three turrets, short, medium, long range. The main ballistic special. So first of all, on the left, you got to pick either heavy ballistic shells or ballistic recoil suppressor. These are the big ones in terms of uh, helping damage. Uh, the ballistic recoil suppressor helps you to reload as well, which in the case of the Javelin and the Howitzer are not needed. They already reload pretty fast. And in the new model, damage is very important. So, and because especially the Howitzer and the Javelin are accuracy based, the heavy ballistic shells gives accuracy bonus. So I would always pick this one here on the left. You can only pick one. If you don't have HBS, it's okay. You pick BRS, but that's the best choice. Then the second special is pretty much mandatory for every ballistic turret, EM Rails 3. This one gives a chance of critical hits. It used to be plus 300% and now it's only plus 100%, meaning the damage doubles. It doesn't quadruple as it used to before. Still very good. If you don't use that special, your turrets will just do no damage. The ballistic turrets are set up in a way where only their critical damage counts, not the normal damage. The third special, uh, three choices, you could try priority targeting, so it fi fires at the lowest health ship, it also gains accuracy, or you could go with frontline platform CX, this one needs to be retrofitted for maximum bonus, it gives accuracy as well, ballistic accuracy in particular, and gives 50,000 explosive deflection. Or you can use frontline platform ZU, this one will give you reload and 40,000 deflection, penetrative, ballistic, and explosive. So each one of these three, you know, will help. If not, you can use anti-stun specials depending on the sort of deflection you're looking to get, depending on how much stun resistance you need. This is also a choice as the third special. Some other things you can look at for the blunderbuss because it's based on spread and splash. Any non-ballistic special that increases splash, such as Fuel Tank OX-1 or SoFi Deployer, they help. Also, any special increasing multi-shot, because when you add multi-shot, you're not dividing the damage by more shots. It actually keeps the damage per shot constant and just more shots damaging your enemy. So that, that I usually like that as my third special on the Blunderbuss. For the Howitzer and Javelin, I already mentioned, anything increasing accuracy helps. Uh, when putting turrets in the bubble pad, don't add 
deflection. Do you want them to die fast? So reconsider your specials. And for the turrets in the island, just add specials, add armor, add everything that's going to make them survive. So in, right now, ballistic and corrosive are the key defenses to have. This can change next week again, but I'm just saying right now that's the focus. The only tactical module that helps ballistic turrets is fire support 2. It will give them extra 10% damage and extra 10% reload. So just put that on a warehouse or in the outpost to get the reload, otherwise you only get the extra damage. And remember, now the duplicate arrow cap is only one, so there's no point putting more than one fire support to cover the turrets. A few suggestions, as I mentioned, so for the blunderbuss, I like to add the special with extra multi-shot. So here's an example. And here's the other special with multi-shot that adds three multi-shots. This one adds two only, but requires less power. Uh, the other two specials are, like I said, pretty much mandatory. Have heavy ballistic shells and EM rails. And these two should always be in every ballistic turret. I'm putting this one on my bubble pad on, on, on water, so I'm using the UTT transformer. This one goes in the island and it then has AT transformer. If you put AT transformer, fire support, you can actually get about 385,000 damage per pellet on, on the critical hit. But that's again very short range, 95. All the ships will outrange the turret, so unless the, the driver, the attacker drives onto the turret, they're not even going to be fired at. And then you take into account siege battery or, or just the base 45% resistance, it goes down to 211. Still hurts, but not that much. And I'm not even talking about splash damage reduction. It, it applies to the blunderbuss as well. The howitzer, uh, if you do it fully loaded like I have here on the left, it requires level 10. If you have a level 9 turret base, then you probably won't be able to add the armor, or maybe only one piece. This one has fast reload, maximum damage, so you can only get like 100k, 101k per shot. This one here, it's just a bubble pad version, you just put something in there, it doesn't do much damage. Most conquerors now have at least this much deflection, so it won't do any damage. The javelin, I don't even focus much on that turret, I don't think it's important. But if you want to have it there from a very long range, it will hurt some holes if they're not properly armored. Even without the bonuses, I mean, the, the best you can get is 123. You divide by two on Siege Battery, you're doing about 61, 62k damage. It's not much. Here's a mix. Here's what I have in my base right now, but I've, I'm changing that, right? I have one Blunderbuss in the bubble pad, one Howitzer on the bubble pad. This is their damage. So you see the, the Blunderbuss, if the attacker rams into it, will do damage. The Howie... Uh, only if the attacker is poorly built. Uh, one Howitzer behind guard with fire support and everything, this one does decent damage. Most ships will be hurt by that 100k ballistic damage. And the Javelin, the best you can get is 67. Again, most ships won't be bothered by that, so I'm replacing this turret with something else. You can see uh, an impact cruiser can get over 100k, all other tier 7 holes can easily get into 61k ballistic deflection. And the Breacher Dreadnought, it's 112k. So even like this Howitzer here, with a critical shot, won't hurt it. The only turret that stands a chance is the Blunderbuss if they drive on it. And even then, it's only the Delta, so it's 30k per shot. It's not much. So that was it for ballistic turrets. I hope that was helpful. Um, I will cover penetrative next. Then I'll take a break from turrets and show how you can build effective countermeasure ships to help defend your base. After that, we'll go back and do the other three turret types. I hope you found that useful. See you next time. 
Subscribe to my channels if you want to follow this uh, series. And remember to turn notifications on so every time I release a new unit, you get a, a quick reminder that it's out there. Smooth sailing, everyone, and talk to you soon. Take care.